So what is up you guys? Welcome back to a new episode of Fresh on the Fleet. About to go into the swamp meet. Before we get in, I gotta shout out Goodwill for the guest hookup. And if you guys are enjoying the videos and you wanna make more, please do hit that like button as well as that. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that notification bell. No time wasted, let's go. Nice five dollar scoop. We got the vintage polo by Ralph Lauren belt and that 1998 South Park Studios uh, stand hat. It's pretty nice. Let's go. Sir. So the homie man right there. Oh man, man, he was so nice. Uh, I only had like in smaller bills like two dollars. So I hooked it up with all three Grateful Dead hats. Uh, I mean, from what I'm seeing, they're just on the Dodo hat. But these look a little older Dodo hat because of this. Dodo hat actually has a Dodo, like a D here now. So it's a little different now. So these actually look really cool. They look legit, if you know what I mean. Swap me come up, man. Straight from the pile. Super dusty, man. Bugging about the camera, so I had to put it down. 
but got a couple come ups here. Let's see, you got the Barry Manilow. Check out the Haynes tag. Let's see, let's see. 1994. Are you ready to party with Barry, if you know what I mean? I see a little back on there. Not a graphic, but still. The spoof shirt. She down under, no worries, Australia, Tommy Hilfiger, like spoof shirt. That's classic, man. You know what's in the bag. Just doing it. So I had to pick up the kicks. I mean, nobody was giving it attention. You can see these are not that bad. They just have paint cracking, and I'm going to do a full restoration on these. Clean them up to once they were. It'll be all good. They are size 10 and a half. Nice $5 scoop. Jordan 9, Coke White. Let's get them back. Vendor usually has shoes from Goodwill, so I usually check the bottom just to see if there's a price. And sometimes they write it down there, but I don't see any on this one. You know, he let it go for 25 bucks. The Wolf Grade Threes. The last ones I found were like a size up, and they had these different laces on them. So these are pretty cool. They're flat laces. Steve. So usually that guy cleans his shoes in the washing machine, and sometimes those shoes are all wet. And this one's the one that was like dusty, so it's weird because he had a Jordan 11 that was just soaking wet, and it smelled like detergent from the washing machine. Onto it. Crazy man, we got the easy it's power phase right here. Um, I'm just gonna clean them up, but that's a pretty cool scoop for like 10 bucks. So I wasn't gonna, you know, pass up on it. You don't come up on easies that often. And if you guys didn't know, I actually went to school in Calabasas in elementary. Calabash, what's up? <sighs> Kanye, man, where have you been? God is king. I'm gonna show the Adidas. So you heard it there first, man. $10 scoop again. Check it out, the boost is not that bad. I can see it right there. Missing insoles. These the uh, triple gray, huh? Check out the Ultra Boost logo. Every time I find these, the boost part is missing its metallic color. Like, look at this. These things are clean. I don't know why they do this every time I find shoes that they're all tied together like this. And look what happens to the cage. I've seen some where the cage actually like snapped off right here because of this and some pressure. So I'm glad to pick these up. They are a size 12. We'll see how they fit though. If they're true to size, a little tight or a little loose. Gosh, it's almost like I wish they fit me. I'm hoping. Biggest size I found today, man. Biggest size. Onto it. Just completely full up. Let's go. So Swami was hot. Let's get in the recap. So let's start off strong with my first pickup. And yes, I fixed his belt. So I found out the rarity of this character is the 1989 Mirage Studios. Raphael from the Ninja Turtles is the fact that he has his belt. You may find a lot of them, but few have the belt still. So it was a cool $5 pickup, my first scoop up, and check out the veins popping. Just gotta say, this is the stuff that get me going, coming to the swap meet and picking up this. Even if he's missing his side, awesome pickup for five bucks. Now to it, I did pick up two pieces together for five bucks also, 1998 South Park Stan Marsh strap back. Guys gotta love that throw up. A lot of the watchers that are younger don't remember that he used to throw up all the time. <laughs> Example there. With that bundle, I did pick a vintage polo by Ralph Lauren, amazing leather belt. I was actually looking for this logo, I couldn't find it at the spot, but as you can see, I did find it. Steals. Now to the hats, I did get for three for three, but I did only pay two dollars and twenty-five cents. So they are the Grateful Dead hats. Check out the logos, the embroideries. If you guys gonna want them, they're gonna be up on Depop. Just an amazing steal. Link down below. Now to the t-shirt and the dollar pile, I did pick up the 1994 Barry Manilow tee. Not explanatory. You got Barry Manilow right in the front. I love the single stitch. Then you got the Down Under Australia. 
spoof shirt, Tommy Hilfiger-ish. Then you got the extra, extra large and the large. Plus of that, all the rest of them are shoes. The 2010 Jordan 9, 25th anniversary. Like I was saying, I just rescued it. It's a size 10 and a half, and I'm gonna do a full restoration on it. This one is just dirty, farm fresh, and I'm ready to make magic happen. I'm gonna do a separate restoration video, repaint, rewhiten, color up, just clean it up. It's just crazy. Jordan's for five bucks, it's gonna scoop. So that for 10 bucks, I did pick up the Adidas Ultra Boost. You got the triple gray, you got the continental sole on the bottom. You got that boost, still white. And for now, it's gonna be in the stash, because it fits. Coming up, onto that, some Jordan 3 Wolf Gray. Got a size 11 and a half, just amazing condition. I literally threw some water on it, Jason marked it, you know, just scrubbed it up, and it's just good to go. The last ones I did find back in the day, it actually had this crazy paint scuff right here, was literally all gone, the black. I mean, just the whole presentation. This is what I like to see. Coming up on some kicks at the swap meet, 25 bucks. You know I'm not gonna leave it behind. Last but not least, and I'm gonna say the cop thing, not because so much of the money you can get for these, but it's just picking up some Yeezys at the swap meet. So these are actually men's seven Adidas Yeezy Power Phase. And like I said, if I'm coming up at the swap meet, I'm not gonna leave these behind. They were 10 bucks. So a lot of people at the swap meet probably passed on it, not because they actually knew what it was, but because when you look at the shoe, I mean, the upper only has that calabash, and that's the only reason why you may know them as a Yeezy. So yes, it is a size men's seven. If you guys are gonna want it, it's gonna be up on Depop. You already knew that. And with that, I'm just gonna say thank you guys for watching. It was just an awesome day going to the swap meet again. I haven't been there in a while, and I came up. It was come up after come up after come up, and you know I'm into that. So with that, I'm just gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Fleet.